of all, congratulations on being recognized as this year's IABC Fellow. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and your involvement with IABC? I've been involved with IABC because that's the easiest part of the question to, since um, maybe 20 years, 25 years. And it's been a wonderful time. And at each phase of my career, IABC has been there to be helpful and supportive and guiding with its information. And what does it feel like to be recognized with the Fellow Award? It's, it's a humbling experience. It is one which thrills me to have this uh, honor. Uh, and it is certainly one which energizes me to be even more active in the field of professional communications. Can you talk about what the involvement with IABC has meant for you personally and for your career? Personally, it's, had, it's given me the opportunity to visit with people around the world. In that respect, it's been a, a broadening and internationalizing experience. Um, and for my career, it's always been an asset. Uh, to say to my prospective employer or to my colleagues, look, I'm doing this wonderful work for this international association, and uh, it helps them appreciate the professional scope of the work that we do in communications. You talked about working in various parts of the world in your career. So what are some of the cultural differences that you've seen with organizational communication? With communications in various parts of the world, you immediately see a manifestation of cultural differences. Uh, the way people approach communications in Asia is certainly different than it would be uh, in North America. Uh, there are some parts of the world which are very informal about communications, and there are other parts of the world in which it's very formal. And if you're going to be successful in communications, you have to pick up on those clues that are manifest when you visit another culture. You've been to IBC World Conferences for a number of years. Um, do you know how many years you've been attending? Well, I was figuring it out. And outside of some time when I was very involved in, in my job and I couldn't get away, I think this is maybe my 25th conference. Wow. This has a special feeling because obviously I, I, I'm receiving this fellow honor, but it happens to be in my hometown. So here I am in San Diego having the opportunity to come down the road to the conference. And that meant that my family could attend the ceremony. Are there any words of advice or suggestions that you would give to the IABC community who's listening to this interview? Get involved. That's the first thing. Because there, if you give a pound of effort, you're going to get 10 pounds of return for, for the investment. Secondly, always remember that IABC promotes a professional development. And as a profession, we have to continue learning and growing. We have to act within the attributes of a profession. And I think IABC helps us.